As the number of students coming into more county schools rises, the number of available resources inevitably it's going down. And we sent CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith to find out how the district is dealing with a budget shortfall. The population of Moore County has been steadily growing over the past eight years. Spurred by an expansion of Fort Bragg in neighboring Cumberland County, more families and more students have been calling places like Carthage home. I believe it was over a five-year period that the number of teachers we were allocated had gone from 582 to 585, and our student had in population had increased over 600 students. Vice Chairman of the Moore County School Board, Ed Dennison, says they're now up to 630 state-funded teachers. They've increased locally funded teachers from 45 to 140, yet their class sizes still tend to be on the larger side. The state currently, though, allows for pupil-teacher ratios to float above those numbers to an average of 21 to 1 throughout a school and up to 24 to 1 in a given class. Superintendent Dr. Bob Grimacy says their class sizes are around 24 students. But a recent piece of state legislation would do away with any wiggle room and tighten the student ratios in kindergarten through third grades. Once you go down to that strict interpretation and assume that you're just going to fund traditional classroom teachers, then across our county, that's 33. 33 teachers needed to decrease class sizes in order Order to keep funding. On top of that, they're dealing with a local budget shortfall. You don't get the final word on your state funding until after you've started spending your state dollars. The school system didn't find out about teacher raises and added retirement benefits from the state until after the county passed its budget, forcing the school system to reach into its dwindling savings to fund the increases. We've got about three to four million dollars worth of local operating cost that currently is dependent on a savings account that will not exist next year. Both issues leading school leaders to some tough decisions, including possible cuts. When you don't have the amount of money you need to do the things you're doing right now, you tell me, what, what do we have to do? In Moore County, Carly Griffith, CBS, North Carolina.